So one of the biggest questions that I see the most is this idea of wondering what is the most important aspect to focus on to have real health, vitality, and longevity. Is it you know diet? Is it exercise? Is it herbs? Is it supplements? Is it our sleep? Is it our relationships? Is it our thoughts? And oftentimes what happens is a person starts with this question and starts with this mentality and then gets sucked into one thing over the other and can oftentimes turn one, in, one thing into a religion. So you see people get so crazy into diet, people get so crazy into exercise and fitness, people get way overboard into herbs and supplements, people get way overboard into what they think or what they believe or what they imagine. And this is really fundamentally flawed and a huge hindrance and a huge setback and a huge waste of time and energy for a couple of different reasons. But first and foremost, obviously if you have a major condition or a major imbalance, that's the most important thing to focus on. Secondarily, if, you're, if we're a new person or we're a beginner or we're just trying to get started, then obviously we can only do one thing at a time. We can only start our journey with one step. So then whatever we're most attracted to or whatever is most important or whatever is the path, of le the path of least resistance, that's obviously the most important thing to focus on, the most important aspect to focus on. So from that and moving past that, you know, the idea and the question of what is the most important aspect is fundamentally flawed and inherently going to be a disservice and a, really a hindrance to our overall growth and evolution and process of growth and development and upgrading our overall health and vitality. And this is a wrong question to be asking for a few different reasons. First is that it obviously misses the bigger picture of interconnectedness and interrelatedness. Because all these different aspects, whatever they are, they all contribute to our overall health, vitality, and longevity, and their overall aspects of our self that make up our life Thus, they're all aspects of our overall lifestyle. We can't really separate one over the other. I mean, you can eat, we can eat really well, but if we never exercise and our sleep is horrible and our relationships are horrible, what are our results gonna be? And this is fundamentally flawed, again, for another reason. Not only because it misses the interconnectedness, the interrelatedness of all these different things, but it's really based on and still implicitly founded within the reality of dividing ourselves into you know, higher, lower, better or worse, good and bad, holy and earthly or otherworldly and earthly, or even more fundamentally, we were really dividing things up internally and externally and making this whole weird hierarchical conceptual illusory reality. And that's really an important thing to really look at, to deprogram and really digest and just let go because if we have all these divisions in our mind, then we're still going to always be seeing our body and seeing the world and all these divisions. And thus, we're going to miss the bigger picture of interrelatedness which and interconnectedness, which again, from a more common sense perspective, all these different aspects are making up who we are. They're making up the style of our life. Thus, they are contributing to our overall lifestyle, which is obviously going to create to a large degree the level of health, vitality, and longevity that we're going to be able to experience. So given that there's all these different aspects and all these different ways to focus and all these different ways we can you know, invest our time and our energy and our attention, this can be overwhelming. We can feel frustrated or even just burdened. Like, oh my God, I got to think this way. I got to exercise this. I got to eat that. I got to take this. I got to not take this. I got to sleep this. You know, we can just get sucked in to this endless black hole of infinite shoulds and shoulds and musts and mustn'ts and you should do this and you must do that and you have to and you have to avoid this and just forever and ever and ever we can just get sucked into that but at the end of the day we still have to live our lives we still have to do things we still have to function in this day-to-day -day reality so we have to remember and understand that whatever we're trying to do or we're trying to accomplish it's never going to be complete it's never going to be done because life is a process of flow and of constant movement and transformation. Thus, there's always room for more expansion, more growth, more transformation, new experiences, new possibilities, new horizons. And really each experience we have, each attainment or achievement that we have is really just a stepping stone to something greater. It's just a level. So for that reason, we shouldn't get stuck at one level and think, oh, well, you know, 
I, I go to yoga class three times a week and I'm a vegan, so that's all I need to do and I'm the best. When in reality, so what? It's just one level. It's just one level we've achieved. There's far other greater levels or vice versa. People say, oh, I go do CrossFit five times a week and I can run 20 miles and bench press this and do that and I eat paleo strictly primal all the time. And there's so many other aspects. There's so many other areas that we can be growing and expanding upon that if we get stuck in one little box or focus too much in one thing, we stagnate, we fixate, and we become blocked, which again are all the opposite of health, which is again how we end up holding ourselves back and hindering ourselves, which again ties into exactly what we were saying at the very beginning of this video. So hopefully that's been helpful and hopefully it's been, you know, easing the burden because if we're getting interested in these things, you know, you can, like I said, get sucked into information for the rest of your life in constantly being bombarded in what you should and shouldn't do and must and mustn't do. But in reality, we have to still live. We have to function. We have to go through our daily routine. We have to make decisions. And really where this all comes and meets a crux and a fulcrum point and where the rubber really hits the road is that how we can know when we're working with a solid set of principles and ideas is that they'll transfer over. Meaning the ideas and the philosophy that we have for our exercise relates to our diet, relates to our exercise, relates to our meditation, relates to our thoughts, relates all across the board. Because when we've reached an understanding that that, that is that deep and is that fundamental and natural, then we're actually getting close to what health and vitality and longevity is really all about. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll talk to you soon.